Hey again guys, and welcome back. Um, I have a couple of solar panels to test out, and today is like the only sunny day we've had in a while. But uh, one of those solar panels uses these connectors, MC4s. I don't have any of these uh, connectors set up to test the solar panels. So Banggood sent me these MC4 connectors, and I was just about to make myself a little extension lead, when I realized how awesome these things actually are. So I figured I'd uh, go over this connector together with you guys and uh, crimp some ends and make myself some wires. Uh, and I figured, you know, I'll take you guys along for the ride. So first and foremost, an MC4 connector is supposedly a extremely high quality um, waterproof connection. And just looking at these things, I sort of believe it, they have on this male end, they have an O-ring, if you can see there, and that fits inside of a sleeve here. So that actually stops the water from coming in because it is jammed into this hole here. There's actually a, a boss, if you can see on the inside there, a place where that O-ring can rest. On top of that, these connectors, they clip together and they clip together fairly solidly, like you can't pull them apart unless you really give them a good squeeze. And apparently when they've been together for a while, they're uh, nearly impossible to remove, so there's actually a tool you can buy or make, I guess, if you have a 3D printer, to go in here and, and crush these two connectors to spread them apart. So that's pretty neat. The inside of them, uh, the whole connection thing happens with these sort of uh, pin and barrel type connectors. So they're pretty much like four millimeter bananas, but they are extremely stiff to get to put together and they can handle quite a bit of current. So that is pretty neat as well. Another thing I find extremely cool is on the back side here, they have this cool mechanism and they have this gland, this rubber gland here that is supposed to seal your wire in and the wire I'm going to be using is much smaller diameter than these things are. However, when you put this together, like so, and then you squeeze the cap, I'm going to zoom you in here. You can see how this rubber is shrinking to accommodate almost any size of wire. So that is pretty cool. This thing will actually squeeze your wire down and then this provides a seal on this side too. And I like the fact that you get so much length of sealing in there. I think these things are gonna be my new favorite connectors. Although some people do complain that they are hard to, you know, plug and pull apart again. We'll have to see if that's true. There's even a little metal collar in there with little uh, detents on the side that accepts a little detents on these, uh, on this metal work here. So again, it's really made to be crimped and assembled by the end user, which is pretty neat. These connectors are also polarized, but not in the way that you think. So, for example, I, you can't say that this one here is a positive or a negative connector. I mean, it is marked positive over here. However, um, that's only positive for the solar panel side, because for your charge controller side, you're going to need one of these. Right, and this one is marked negative, but it's not negative, it's just the other side of this positive here. Right, so you're gonna have to set your cables probably by color for the polarity and not by shape. Because this positive will click into what is known as a negative, even though it is, is not. So I made a small diagram here to help you guys out. You've got uh, this symbol here, which is the MC4 male. It actually accepts the uh, female terminal in on the inside that just slides in, you know, from the backside after your crimp. And so you actually have to make sure that the female end
goes inside the male end, which will mate with the female MC4, which actually uses the male pin. It's not quite male because there's a hole in it, but you know, you know what I mean. This is pretty much uh, the male side. So I made this diagram here to help you out. Solar panel positive will be this guy with a cylinder on the inside. And then solar panel negative will be this guy with a pin on the inside. And then your charge controller positive should be uh, this guy here with a pin on the inside. And your charge controller negative will be this guy with a uh, cylinder on the inside. So now that that's out of the way, um, I'm going to make myself this cable here. So this one and this one. Uh, so this will be red and this will be black. So it'll seem backwards from the markings, but it's just because it's the other side of it. On the other side for the charge controller, I'll probably put uh, fork terminals or something like that so I can just plug it into an electronic load. I cut myself out about uh, five feet of this 14 gauge, uh, really cheap wire that I got at uh, Princess Auto, basically Canadian Harbor Freight. Um, it doesn't have very many strands on the inside, so it's not very flexible and it's cheap PVC jacket, but I think it'll do for this. My only concern is that it's really thin for these types of MC4s, but we're going to see how versatile this connector really is. And on top of that, it doesn't really matter if this go isn't waterproof. I can always improve it for the waterproof version. Now, I have scoured my entire crimper collection, and I do not have the proper crimper for M MC4s. It's really just any non-insulated crimper that finishes in a B shape, sort of like this, but these are way too small for these connectors. So, I have a solution. I am going to try this uh, insulated crimper, so it does not finish in that B shape, but I think it'll do just for now, and I think it'll be sort of like this size here. Yeah, probably this size. Don't know if you can see that properly, but it looks like it'll fit in there good enough to get the job done for now, and I will have to source a better crimper for the future. Got my ugly crimps done, and now all I need to do is add the casings, and if you can see, the positive needs this uh, square casing here. I'm gonna pull this apart, now, um, this should just slide right in there and go in with an audible click. I can see that this is a bit wide here. Maybe I will just give this a touch of modification. Okay, and in it goes. Should slide in until it clicks. Oh, that clicked. Yeah, that looks like it's properly in. Perfect. Now also, I should have slid this over the end. However, not that big of a deal. My other end is uncrimped. So that goes on like so. And then the little teeth here, grab onto it. Oops, I need to run the, cape, the nut as well. The little teeth here will grab onto this and these little fingers here will close down onto the wire. At least uh, that's the hope. So let's see on the back here. And again, if it doesn't, it's not the end of the world. I will fix it. I'll make a different cable up for permanent outside installation another day. Look at that. That is pretty much closed all the way up on this wire. It does have some movement. I don't think that 14 gauge wire is quite enough for these MC4s to be waterproof, but I think if you put a little grease in that gasket, I think it'll be just fine.
So next one up is our negative connection with the cylinder and this guy. So let's try to do this properly this time. So this will go this way. This will go this way. Sort of like that. And then this should push in until it clicks. Oh, that was a nice, that was a nice click. Okay, put this guy on like so. And then screw this guy on. Should be able to see that clamping down. There we go, there's a little bit of a, feel a little bit of a tightness. There we go. That one's done too. Looks comically small huh, with this 14 gauge cable. Really should have a bigger cable, but it doesn't matter. This is just for testing purposes. You can always snip these off and buy some more. These MC4 connectors are surprisingly inexpensive compared to the alternatives. As for the other end of the cable, well, I really wanted to use these fork terminals. I am running a little bit low on them because typically charge controllers have some sort of screw connection like this and these fork terminals are ideal for those. And they also have the heat shrink sleeving built in and they have the adhesive on the inside so they're sort of waterproof. So um, yeah, I wanted to do that, but this is what I'm gonna be testing the solar panels with and it has screw terminals that are non-standard. So that is a no. So the alternative I think is to use these ferrules. If I just crimp the ferrules on, I should be able to just jam it inside here. It won't make as good of a connection, but it'll still make a reasonable connection. I don't think we're gonna drop any voltage on those connections. And I do have the proper crimper for the ferrules. So I've already pre-stripped my wire back here. I like to strip it back a little bit further than usual for the ferrules because then I can just chop the end off after. I'm gonna set this down in here, give it a crimp. I'm gonna grab the other side here. These ferrules have been uh, pretty life-changing. They're pretty nice for keeping the wires all together, a little strands of wire together at the end of a cable. So there we go. I'm just gonna chop off the excess. And like that, there we go. And now I should be able to just jam this into the load tester, hopefully. Yeah, there we go. It doesn't jam in perfectly, but it jams in. And I think that'll be enough for the testing I'm gonna do. I am up here in Canada. I don't think I'm gonna get the full output out of these solar panels. And honestly, if I run into a problem where this these connections are not good enough, then I mean, I'm just gonna buy some better connections or a better load tester. And so that's it for today. I need to take off and head to the location where I'm gonna be doing the testing of the solar panels before the sun leaves. All the relevant links will be in the description below. They're gonna be affiliate links and I have to say thank you to banggood.com for sending me, you know, a lot of the stuff that you see here. The MC4s, this load tester, all the links will be at the description below. Thanks for watching.